Hey guys, how's it going? Joshua Shanti here. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about how our own personal suffering affects other people. Now, I know a lot of people may or may not be very conscious of their own personal suffering or what's going on inside of them. Uh, a fine example is something that may have happened to you in your childhood that you're holding on to. It could be something that happened with your parents or friends or family that makes you act a certain way every single day towards certain people or present yourself in a certain way. It could be various different things depending on what you're really holding on to. But the key is, is to become aware of what kind of things are making you suffer that you're holding on to from the past and see how you're implementing them daily with how you interact with people or how you live your life, how your mentality works. You have to try and be very conscious of that because sometimes a lot of people around us suffer because of our own personal suffering. You may act a certain way towards someone negatively because of something that happened in the past to you that you may see in someone else and you go, oh, that's something that I am aware of or something that I've experienced and I don't want to experience that again. Maybe this person isn't the person that I've had that happen with, but it feels like it's a possibility it could. So in that situation, your own suffering can cause other people to suffer. So we have to be very cautious of that and very aware of what's really going on within our own selves. Because 90% of the time, it has nothing to do with anybody else. It's always what's going on with us. Not to say that some people can't be mean sometimes or do things that may not be appropriate. But I'm saying that 90% of the time, even when those people do those things, it doesn't mean that it has to affect your personal peace on the inside. It's always your choice to consciously be aware. Okay, this is what I'm holding on to that resembles what this person is doing. And I have the choice to identify with it and say, that's the same thing that this person is doing or let go of it and I should let yourself just stay in that peace. Because really, it's not what anybody else presents. It's only how you take it. So I feel it's very beneficial to take the time to dive within yourself and understand what's really going on and why you get upset about things. Some people have the craziest things that they get upset about that you just couldn't even imagine. You're like, did you really just get upset about that? <laughs> it's kind of interesting, but that's because everybody's holding on to something that they're identifying with that makes them upset with that. So sometimes it's hard to see, wow, that could make someone upset because you're not holding on to the same thing that they are. So in that sense, that would make a lot of sense why sometimes you can't understand why people get upset. But even then, if you haven't had the same experience, that doesn't mean that you can't understand why they're upset because you can look at it from the perspective, let me try and understand what this person has been through and look at it through maybe their eyes to try and understand why they're upset or what would make them upset or what kind of suffering that they've been through that they're holding on to. So this way you can't really take it personal. You can just see, okay, this person's suffering and they're seeing something in me that's causing them to suffer, but really it has nothing to do with me. Now that's always an easy excuse to try and get out of situations that you may have done something wrong in. So you have to consider both sides. Consider possibly what that person is suffering from and how it's being projected onto you and just the same how you're suffering and how you're projecting it onto the other person. There's always two sides of the coin and you always have to make sure to look at both sides. So when it comes to personal suffering, make sure to be aware of what's going on within you so that you could possibly project yourself into the world in a more positive fashion. It's not as hard as you may think. You just have to take the time to actually do it. Take the time to dive within yourself and understand what kind of suffering you're going through. It's not always easy to accept those things that you've been through or maybe go back and re-experience things that you possibly have locked away that you don't want to experience again. But understanding these things a lot more will benefit not only yourself, but everybody around you. So make sure to take the time to understand yourself and others better so that we can all live a more peaceful and happy life.